This is the end. I need you to see how much it hurts. Now, let's go back to the beginning. To the day when my puppy bowled over his litter mates to make sure he came home with me. And when he then buttered up my girlfriend Emily, just to make us doubly certain that he was ours. I got Echo at the lowest point of my adult life. I was scared and I was lost. But I found courage in my pup. As he grew, so did I. And together, we set off on a road trip across America. We discovered the country, and I discovered myself. We climbed mountains, canoed rivers, crossed plains, and conquered lakes. We sniffed wine, sniffed the sea air, and we spent so much time together that we seemed to share the same breath. We conquered cities, but never took ourselves too seriously. We partied at Mardi Gras, played in pools, and slept on hammocks. Each day was a new adventure filled with love and laughter and trying new things. We two blues brothers, who shared all the best times of our life together, shared another when we moved to Chicago with Emily. And when I asked Emily to marry me, it seemed only fitting the dog who delivered my salvation also deliver my wedding rings. Because Echo's love was infinite, when we brought home a clearly insane puppy, he didn't miss a beat. Echo loved Penny just like he loved me. From his first day to his last, he was Penny's pillow and her best friend. He was infinitely patient, even when it meant waiting longer to eat because Penny couldn't quite figure out the trick. So this was my life, an incredible wife and two wonderful pups. Two dogs who would follow me to the ends of the earth, who wouldn't even let me kayak on my own because they needed to stay by my side. All this because of Echo, my lion, the rock upon which I built myself. The dog smart enough to know the answer to all life's questions is love. The dog who taught me that everything you need can fit snugly on a single couch. But then one day, your healthy dog lays in the sun, you give him a kiss and tell him you'll be right back, and you never see him again. You cry, and you rage, and you scream. There will be no more kisses, no more silly videos, no more glorious runs across the park, no more comfort for you, for your wife, or for your poor pup. No more naps in the sun, just a wordless agony and an empty soul. I need you to see how broken I am. I need you to witness the price I pay for giving every ounce of my love to my dog. I need you to see my ruin, to see everything that's been taken from me, so that you may know this one thing. All that I lost when I lost Echo is nothing when weighed against the love he brought to my life. Echo is gone, but his love endures. I welcome this pain as the cost of carrying that enduring love with me for the rest of my life. This is the end, but we will begin again. The way Echo taught us, with the courage to give each moment the love and joy it deserves. Miss you so much, buddy. Thank you for everything. I'm gonna do my best.